Welcome back to New Day. You've seen the pictures of the devastation in the Midwest, and we want to make sure that you hear the voices of the people affected as well. Yesterday, we introduced you to a very special man. You're looking at him there. His name is Steve Boucher. He was doing his best to keep perspective and a positive outlook after his home was destroyed. He thought he was going to die. Let's get back to Indra Peterson. She's in Washington, Illinois. Now, Indra, you went back and found Steve Boucher, and he let you see what he was dealing with, right? Yeah, exactly, Chris. I mean, it only took a few minutes of speaking to Steve. You and I both had this experience to see how inspiring his story was. I mean, he literally had so many inspirational words of encouragement, considering he just had lost everything. I mean, we are talking about a two-story house completely leveled down to the ground. I want to set this picture here a little bit for you, but Steve told me he had just come home with his wife from a trip from Indianapolis. They were unaware of the weather, sort of severe weather threat that was out there yesterday. He went ahead and made some spaghetti. His wife was in the bath. They heard the sirens and literally just had seconds to escape with their lives from this EF4 tornado. Is that your car? That's my, most of those are my cars. Wow. This was the entrance from the garage into the house. <coughs> this was our dining room, and obviously they put this floor down extremely well because it's all still here. And uh, this was the entrance to the house right here. Unbelievable. You know, I, I, I wasn't, so much thinking about the, the sounds and all of that as much as thinking, you know, this this very well could be the end of things. You know, this, this we're right in the middle of an absolute calamity here. My wife said that she would just, that's all she could hear, just this deafening roar. <coughs> I guess more when it started uh, creaking and then cracking with boards obviously breaking and the house just being completely ripped ripped um, apart. You live long enough and you gain perspective, I guess. And I have to say and, perspective. Uh, I mean you have amazing outlook on this entire situation. Uh, uh, we'll we'll get through this. We've we've lost a daughter to cancer. That was way, way right tougher than this. Way tougher than this. This is this is this is stuff. That was a real important part of our hearts and lives. The only important thing I had in this house walked out of it with me. And what was that? My wife. You know, and it's so hard to even tell. Where we were standing and you saw the floorboards, that was the bottom level of this two-story house that was literally made of brick and concrete, and literally nothing was left, and yet you hear all of his encouragement really to not only himself and his neighbors, everyone's really kind of coming together. And I wanted to let you know, he had the most inspiring story. He said all of his 11 grandchildren were expected to come in town for the holidays in about two weeks. They were going to celebrate early on Thanksgiving. He says, you know what? It's fine. They're still going to come. I'm going to run a generator, bring a Christmas tree right in the middle of the living room, and they're going to celebrate there in just two weeks, Chris. Truly remarkable.